very early in the morning. The women took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away. But when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. Suddenly, two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them and said, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. Why do you seek the living among the dead? A question that cuts right to the heart. That day, the women found an empty tomb that once held a crucified Christ. So the angels asked them this very profound question. Why do you seek the living among the dead? That same question echoes in our hearts today. Why do we seek life in things that lead to death? Why do we look for a savior in all the wrong places? We want to live life to the fullest, but we chase the things that ultimately kill us. Why do we search for fulfillment in emptiness? Why do we seek the living among the dead? But that same question contains a sense of celebration. The ultimate sacrifice of Jesus was successful. Death couldn't stop him, hell couldn't hold him, and sin couldn't beat him. Jesus died so that we could live. He took our place, accepting the death that we deserve so that we could live with him forever. Because of his sacrifice, our lives don't end with death. And now we can celebrate, not because he was crucified, but because he rose. Not because he died, but because he lives. And when we gather together in his name, he is with us. Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not there. He is here. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Jesus. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. We are celebrating the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Can you just say to your neighbor, Jesus is here. He is alive. Can you just say to your neighbor, like, you know, you mean it. You mean it. You believe it. He is here. He is alive. Come on. Come on, sabi mo sa katabi mo, na may buhay, na ikaw mismo, naniniwala, all right, with conviction. Sabi natin, He is here. He is alive. Oh, isa pa. He is here. He is alive. Praise the Lord. Come on, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, oh God. That's the title of my message, you know. So, yung sabi dito sa intro with natin, sinasabi ron, why are we seeking the living among the dead? Di ba? And we are seeking at the wrong places. We're seeking it sometimes sa mga, you know, material things. We're seeking it sometimes sa mga binibigay ng mundo, ah, uh, Binibigay ng relasyon, binibigay ng mga mabibili ng pera. So we are looking at the wrong places. But praise God that you are here. Amen? You are here because you are seeking the living among the living. Come on, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Thank you, Lord. We are here because we are seeking Jesus. We want to know Him. We are here together to celebrate the goodness of the Lord in our midst. His resurrection power. Thank you, God. You know, today, uh, all over the world, billions of people together join us, worshiping God, together celebrating the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. So this is one of the uh, centrality of the message of Jesus, that he, he died, He suffered, He died, and He rose again. So, wag po natin kalimutan yan. Because without that, hindi magiging firm yung ating faith in God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So, that's my, uh, the title of my message. He is here. He is alive. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just have a word of prayer. Thank you, Father, that you are here. 
Thank you that your presence is here, O oh God. We don't know what to do without your presence. We need you, O oh God. We need your presence. We need you, God. We thank you that you are here. Open our eyes, open our understanding, and help us, O oh God, that this message will strengthen us, will establish our faith, will uh, help us to focus on what you have done and to look unto you for the fulfillment in our lives. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So some 2,000 years ago, an event took place that was so significant that it would literally change the course of human history. Something happened that had never happened before and has never happened since. It was an event that was so outstanding that it produced a worldwide movement that is still thriving today. A movement that has literally changed the lives of hundreds of millions, if not billions of people on this planet. An event that is so significant that it even affect our calendar. Kaya nga meron tayong tinatawag na BC and AD. So he changed the course of history. Amen? So powerful na yun ang naging parang uh, center, central even of the calendar. So I'm not talking only about the birth and the death, but also the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So many people thought during those times that he was just a simple carpenter, a man who became an itinerant preacher and was hated by the religious leaders of his day. He was denounced. Okay? He was denounced as a radical and a heretic and even and eventual, eventually was arrested, tortured, and nailed to a cross. So, para maintindihan natin mabuti yung significant nito, event na ito, let's use our imagination today. Okay? Let's use our imagination today. Okay? Meron ba tayong mga imagination dyan? Okay? So, let's use it in a positive way. <clears throat> Imagine yourself that you live at the time of Jesus. Okay? Maybe you can imagine yourself that you're a farmer or you own a land at nakatira ka dun sa maliit na lugar of Nazareth. Parang ang mga tao nun, maybe like, you know, 500 people over that place. And you know, kapag ka ikaw ay tumira sa lugar na yung barrio, 500, everybody knows you. Pati yung pagkain mo, yung kakainin mo sa tanghali, lulutuin mo pa lang alam na nila. Alright? So, ganun ang, uh, ang barrio, o especially kapag, ka, uh, kapag meron lamang very small population. So, so ilan dito ang uh, nag-grow up sa provinces? May mga provinces kayo. Can you just raise your hands? Okay? So, thank you. So kami po ni Pastor Ritz, we spent our first 20 years just living sa mga provinces. We moved from different places, Batangas, tumira kami sa Baliwag, sa Plaridel, Santa Rosa, tumira kami sa Kabanatuan, Kalugtog. So different places, like you know, 11, 11 times we moved, actually 12 times halos dahil I went to Kabanatuan also and stay there for two years, pabalik-balik. So, uh, at doon sa provinces, talagang during those time na uh, we're starting the ministry, uh, kapag uh, halimbawa, uh, tatanungin nila kung saan kami nakatira, kilala nyo ba yung si uh, Sister Ning? Ganun. Uh, ang asawa niya, Amerikano, alam na doon sa Plaridel kung saan kami nakatira, doon sa small town doon. Ah, yung mga Amerikano, doon, nakatira sila doon sa bahay na yun. So that's how, you know, uh, barrio lifestyle is. Alam yung pangalan, alam yung mga uh, sitwasyon sa buhay, at alam kung sino ka. Ngayon, imagine mo, imagine mo that you have a neighbor in that barrio, na ikaw ay na nasa, nasa Nazareth. At uh, uh, isipin mo na, Nandun ka, nakatira ka sa maliit na barrio na yan wherein uh, your father your father knows the father of Jesus. And sometimes you, your father would invite 
Joseph, the father of Jesus, to work in their house, to do some carpentry work. So you saw Jesus there working, and he's just quite, quite a quiet man. Uh, most of the time, he's reading, or maybe most of the time, he's like, tahimik lang siya. And you wonder, uh, uh, you, you wonder with this guy, like, he's already 30 years old. And you're kind of thinking, why is he not getting married? Okay? Hindi ba ganon? Minsan nag-iisip tayo, pag ang isang tao ay nasa 40 na o 30 na, parang nag-iisip tayo, oy, parang gustong-gusto mong tanongin, eh, ba't hindi ka pa kasi nag-aasawa? Hindi ba? So, you, you, kind of, he, you kind of wonder, ba't kaya hindi pa ito nag-aasawa? And then one time, you were all uh, invited the whole village na umatend ng kasalan. One of the neighbor's daughter got married. And of course, minsan kahit nga hindi imbitado pumupunta, hindi ba? Like, sa barrio, parang pag inibitahan yung isa sa pamilya, isasama lahat. Come on, celebrate! <laughs> hindi ba? So, ganun ang uh, buhay sa barrio. And so, you were there too. You were there too sa kasalan na yan. At sa kasalan na yan, masarap yung pagkain. Ang daming pagkain. Ang daming mga dessert, kakanin, at kung ano-ano pa. Pero, sorry na lang, walang lichon, ano? Kasi Jewish ka eh, Jewish. Jewish ka, so you don't eat lichon. Yun lang yung na-miss nila, hindi ba? So, anyway, uh, habang kayo kumakain, nawalan ngayon ng inumin, merong alak. One way they celebrate things is may alak, hindi ba? And the alak before is made of not an alcohol but maybe fermented fruits. Ganon, ano? So natural. So, uh, mm, nawala ng alak and then maya-maya nagulat kayo at meron na namang alak and it seems mas masarap yung alak na natikman mo kesa yung sa dati. Like, wow, this is really good. Talo yung mga ibang alak. So, talo yung tuba. Talo yung iba. So, sabi mo, what happened? Where did they get this? Anyway, nabalita mo kinabukasan, it was Jesus na kung saan yung six pots of water ay napuno niya ng alak. The water turned into wine. At natatawa ka, these people, maybe they drink so much. They drink so much that they imagine things. Hindi ka pa rin makapaniwal. That's impossible. Hindi yun mangyayari. So, anyway, as you go on, uh, as you go on, may mga naririnig kang mga iba pang mga kwento. At, uh, at yung mga kinikwento nila ay parang mga imposible. At narinig mo na si Jesus ay uh, nag-move siya from place to place, nag-travel siya from place to place, and uh, he gathered quite a following, of, a following, traveling around, teaching and preaching. And then there's a rumor of he's doing a miracle, miracles. Six, sick people are getting healed, blind, our eyes are being opened, lame, walking. Even the dead are raising from the dead. So, that's unbelievable. And you said, no, it's just my neighbor. I know him. I've seen him. I did not see any miracle that he did in his house or in our house. So, you're kind of uh, still uh, doubting about it. And then one time, ikaw ay nagpunta doon sa isang town to do some kind of business. At nakita mo yung mga crowd of people. Crowd of people were there. At sila ay talagang, uh, nag, sila ay talagang like you know, uh, so many people. And then, of course, you get into the crowd and look. To your amazement, Jesus is there. Your neighbor is teaching and preaching and all these people are listening and uh, then all of the sudden people start getting healed doon nakita mo mismo ikaw mismo nandoon na nag-observe ka lang nakita mo a layman jumping running na he said i can't walk before i can't walk i've been uh, bedridden for 20 years now i am walking or may, uh, maybe he said like I am uh, uh, lame since my mother's give me birth. Di ba may pinigaling si Jesus na lame since his mother's birth. So, 
And you see that. And the man screams. Uh, and we, uh, he said, wow, this is unbelievable. Miracle, miracle. So, and you saw the miracle after miracle. And you said, oh my gosh, oh my goodness. Ibang klase ito. Toto ba itong nakikita ko? Toto kaya ito? I thought it's just a rumor, but it's true. It's true. That miracle, I saw it with, with my eyes. Now at that time, na-turn around ka. Alright? Na-turn around ka. At talaga nakita mo, maybe he's the Messiah. He's really the Messiah. Just like what he is saying. Maybe he's really the Son of God. He's claiming that he is the Son of God. If he's the Son of God, he is the Savior of the world. And so he's, you started following Jesus. You go where Jesus go. And for more than two years, sumulagsusuporta ka sa ministry niya. Ano man ang kailangan sa ministry, andun ka. Alright? Parang dito sa atin sa church na talagang you give your best, talagang uh, talagang gusto mong ma-please ang Lord. So you help out in the ministry any way you can. Then, this man or you, you yourself, you see miracle after miracle. And uh, you hear also some miracle that you didn't actually see. Like Jesus walking on water. Is that true? And Jesus raised a co- up couple of people from the dead. The young girl and Lazarus, they said he was dead for three days. And he's already smelly. And then Jesus came. That's amazing. Amazing. So the crowds of people following Jesus are just growing and growing. And alam nyo naman kapag ka maraming mga sumusunod, sabi nga kapag ka maraming uh, mga bunga ang mangga, anong ginagawa? Binabato, hindi ba? So Jesus has so many gathering and fruits, followers, and the religious people are is getting more uh, jealous and more intense. So they start accusing him of all kinds of things. They, they are saying that he's starting a rebellion. That he is a false prophet, a heretic. They even accuse him of being de- demon-possessed. Diba? You've seen the miracle yourself. And the way he teaches is just amazing. It's life-changing. Because you experience it yourself. Because before you are a cheater. Before you are a liar. Before you are a rebel. But God had changed your heart. God had changed you. And you draw closer to God through Jesus and you remember some of the people that had come to know the Lord like the prostitute the prostitute the the lady who pour out his uh, yung oil yung jar of ointment upon Jesus talagang binuhos niya sa kanya because he is so great she is so grateful that God had changed him that God had forgiven him amen at ganun din yung tax collector. Nakausap mo yung mga tax collector na talagang uh, mas grabe pa sa BIR, sa ano, sa, dun nga, no? Mga sa BIR or ano mang mga corrupt places. Miss, at ganun ang nangyari. Nakita mo kung paano na binago ang kanilang buhay. But one day you wake up, are you still there? Okay? I am not preaching today. I am just telling you the story. Alright? And later on, we will go to uh, some of the words that, uh, that really related to this resurrection. So one day you wake up and you hear some terrible news. He's been arrested. For what, you think? He's done wrong. He's done nothing wrong. Nothing illegal, you know. It's just the jealousy. But then the worst news of all is going to be crucified. You can't believe it. How could this happen? He's done nothing wrong. And of course, they thought, uh, you said, I thought he's the Messiah. I believe in him. Instead of becoming a king, a king now he's going to be crucified, executed as a criminal. At nabalita mo pa na, na, na siya ay uh, crucified between the two soldiers. At yung pahirap sa kanya, higit pa dun sa mga pahirap sa mga criminal before. Okay? Ang criminal before, yung mga hindi masyadong ma- malala ang kanilang ginawang krimen, they just hung them. Okay? O kaya, uh, kinakat lang yung kanilang leeg. Tapos na. Pero si Jesus, 
Talagang for three days he suffered. From morning, nine o'clock, hanggang three o'clock, talagang physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, he suffered so much. So much. So he's like a criminal, and you can't believe it. What is that? What happened? Of course, you are a disciple, but you are not included in the 12 disciples, the inner circle. And you've heard a news that uh, those followers of Jesus would be persecuted too. And they are after you, after those people that follow Jesus. So, anong gagawin mo? Ikaw yun. Anong gagawin mo? All right? Siguro normal yung ikaw ay aalis, syempre. Tatago ka, no? Parang... Uh, talagang parang delikado na to uh, huhulihin din ako so you went back to your town at discouraged ka nalulungkot ka bakit nangyari yung mga bagay na yon and uh, then you start to think about your own life Nas- nasayang lang ang buhay ko sa kasusunod sa taong ito hindi pala siya ang misaya dahil siya ay uh, pinako sa krus bilang kriminal maybe Uh, nagkamali ako noon sa mga nakita ko. Nagkaroon ka ng some doubt in your mind. But after, uh, after like few days, after three days, you heard that he has risen from the dead. You've heard the rumors that he's alive. And you can believe it. How did that happen na siya ay buhay? Ang ginawa sa kanya ay uh, ninail siya sa cross. Paano pa siya mabubuhay? Sobrang talagang uh, pinatay siya, this is too much, sabi mo sa sarili mo. So anyway, uh, hindi mo pa rin makalimutan yung mga na-witness mo about Jesus. Kung paano siya nagpagaling, paano siya gumawa ng mga milagro, paano ka binu- binago ang buhay mo. So you cannot just shake it off. Amen? Ikaw, di ba? Nung makilala mo ang Lord, you are a witness to yourself na talagang binago ka ng Diyos sa yung buhay. At somehow, you find a way para malama kung totoo nga yung rumors na si Jesus ay nabuhay na muli. So you find out the disciples are meeting at the upper room. Doon, uh, sa Jerusalem, bumalik ka doon at nakiusap ka sa mga disciples, sa mga disciples, sa mga close disciples of Jesus. And you said, pwede ba akong pumasok din sa room? Gusto ko lang marinig. Yung mga nangyari, I'm also a believer, pero hindi ko alam yung nangyari sa kanya na ganito pala. And then pinapasok ka, and then you heard this testimony. Okay, you could hear, you could see that in Luke 24. Mary speak up. Si Mary, nag-speak up siya. Sabi niya, on the first day of the week, early in the morning, we took the spices and went to the tomb. And we found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when we entered, we did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. And while we are wondering about this, suddenly, two men in clothes that gleam like lightning stood beside us. In their fright, in our fright, uh, we, we bowed down with, the, with our faces to the ground. But the men said, why do you look for the living among the dead? He's not here. He has risen. And so... Yun yung sabi, yung, yung kwento ni, ni Mary. And then another two had shared about what happened with them. Sabi nila, we're walking on the village, uh, go, going to Imaos, about seven miles from Jerusalem. And we were talking with each other, everything that had happened. And we have talked and discussed things to each other. And then, we did not know that uh, there's a guy who walked with us. But we cannot uh, recognize, who, recognize who he is. And the guy said, what are you discussing about? Together as you walk along. And one of them, Cleopas, asked him, are you the only one visiting Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there in these days? What things, he asked, about Jesus of Nazareth? They replied, he was a prophet, powerful in word and deed before God and all the people, the chief priests and our rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death. They crucify him. But we had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it is the third day since all this took place. In addition, some of our women amazed us. They went to the tomb early this morning, but didn't find the body. 
And they came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb and found it just as the woman had said, but they did not see Jesus. And then, of course, Jesus said to them, di ba, si Jesus yung sumama sa kanila habang naglalakad. So naririnig mo to, ikaw na andong ka rin sa room na yon. Naririnig mo yung mga kwentuhan na to, mga testimony na nangyari tungkol sa resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And uh, ang sagot ni Jesus dun sa kwento nung, nung, ni Cleopas at nung kasama niya, sumagot si Jesus sa kanila, sabi nila, ni Jesus, How foolish you are and how slow to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to us what was said in all the scripture concerning himself. And so they invited, uh, we invited him to come with us. And while they were there at the table, he took the bread and gave thanks and broke it and began to give it to them. And then their eyes were opened. Sabihin nga natin, their eyes were opened. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus, for the bread that is being broken even right now that we may all receive in Jesus' name. And they recognized him. And he, and suddenly he disappeared. Nung makitlala nila kung sino siya, and suddenly, sabihin nga natin, and suddenly, he disappeared. Nawala siya. That's amazing, di ba? Uh, amazing. Kasi he has already a glorious body, which we will have too. Pag kinuha na tayo ni Lord, because of the resurrection, because of the power of God over death, we will no longer die also, but we will be given a glorious body. So, pwede ka nang lumusot kahit saan. Maraming testimony uh, patungkol dun sa mga nakarating sa heaven, na kung saan, pag inisip mo, yung gusto mong gawin, gusto mong lumangoy dun sa river, sa sa river, dun sa heaven, iniisip mo palang landong ka na, lumalangoy ka na. At pag landong ka sa ilalim, paglabas mo, iniisip mo palang, I want to dry myself. Dried ka na. So that's the glorious body. Amazing. Come on, palakpakan natin ng Panginoon. God is good. He has a glorious body. And they ask each other. So, nag- nag-usap sila, were not our hearts burning within us while we talk with while he talked with us on the road and opened the scripture to us, to us. So, these things are burning in their heart, heart. These things are burning. Amen? I hope na habang nakikinig kayo, maranasan nyo yan, yung paghipo ng Diyos sa inyong puso. Tungkol sa kanyang muling pagkabuhay. Tungkol sa ginawa niya. And suddenly, the whole place gets quiet and, uh, ha- and a sense of the presence of of Holy Presence fills the entire room and a bright light. And then after a while, suddenly again, sabihin natin uli, suddenly, Jesus appeared in the midst of them. Wow! Alright? He appeared again, so He comes and goes, no? Hindi siya dumadaan sa bintana, sa pintuan, basta nandyan na siya. And the next thing you know, it's Jesus standing there right in front of you. All you see you see him with your own eyes. He is alive. So, while Jesus were talking about this, Jesus stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Sabi niya sa mga disciples. So, na-witness mo ito. Alright? Nandun ka pa ba sa loob? Pini-witness mo pa ba? Nakikinig ka pa rin ba? Talaga bang your heart is really wanting to receive from God? So, nandun ka sa loob. And you are there and Jesus said, Peace be with you. And they were startled, the disciple, thinking they saw a ghost. He said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do you doubt rise? Why do doubts rise in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. So, sinasabi ni Jesus na ako ay buhay. Ako nga ito. Yung nakikita nyo, ako ito. When he has said this, he showed them his hands and feet. And while they still did not believe it, sometimes, di ba, parang hindi ka makapaniwala because of joy. Right? May mga ganon. Ito yung time na to na you can't believe because so much joy na uh, nabuhay siya. And you're still so amazed. And Jesus said, in a light moments, 
Do you have anything there? Do you have anything here to eat? Okay? So he could still eat. Although he has a glorious body. When we go to heaven, we will also, there will be feasting there. Okay? So they gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. And he said to them, This is what I told you while, else, while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, prophets, and the Psalms. Then he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them, this is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. And repentance, from, and repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all, sabi nga natin, to all nations. Beginning at Jerusalem, you are a witnesses of these things. I am going to send you. What my father has promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. This is what Jesus said to the disciple, and this is what Jesus said to you also. So, would you believe? Do you believe because you saw it, you were there? Okay? Nakita mo yung mga bagay na ito, kung ito ay talagang nandun ka. Would you not really believe? Amen? Na talagang totoo na siya ay... Uh, the Messiah, the Son of God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. And then Jesus charged them. Dahil ako'y namatay na, napako sa krus, binayaran ko ng aking mga, ang inyong mga kasalanan. Now, repentance would be preached into all nations. And God is telling you right now, go, go and tell. Ipagsabi mo, ipagsabi mo na ako ay buhay. Ipagsabi mo ang magandang balita na ikaw ay napatawad na. Ipagsabi mo na ikaw ay pwedeng gumaling. Ipagsabi mo na ikaw ay pwede na makalaya sa mga problema, makalaya sa utang, makalaya sa kahirapan. Ipagsabi mo ang magandang balita. Ito ang sinasabi sa atin ng Panginoon. Will you believe? Ito po ay hindi istorya lang, kundi totoong nangyari. At ang mga disciple, ang ginawa nila, they go out and preach everywhere. So, so that's what they did. And they begin preaching boldly, publicly, publicly, and uh, miracles start to happen. So, that could happen to you also. Amen? That could happen to us also if we will believe. Do you believe? Do you believe? Come on, let's all stand up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Jesus. Praise you, God. So ngayong oras na to ay nais ko po na nais ko na ipikit natin nga ang ating mga mata at yumuko tayo. God is here. His holy presence is here in the midst of us. At sa oras na ito, nais ko na i-challenge kayo. Kung hindi nyo pa ibinigay ang buhay nyo kay Jesus, hindi ka pa talaga tuluyang nabago, hindi mo pa siya tinanggap bilang Diyos at tagapagligtas, hindi ka pa uh, 100% na sumusuko sa Kanya, I want to challenge you today. Ngayon po ang araw ng kaligtasan, ngayon ang araw na dapat tanggapin mo siya at sabihin mo, I believe Jesus, I believe in you, I believe that you are the Son of God, I believe that you are the Savior. God, save me right now, forgive me. So, kung yan po ang nasa puso ninyo, nais niyong maranasan ang kanyang kapangyarihan, itaas po ninyo ang inyong kamay. Just raise up your hands. Yes, raise up your hands. Taas natin ang ating mga kamay. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, receive Him, believe Him. Thank you, God. Hindi ito like, you know, uh, parang uh, try lang, kundi you believe in your heart. Something will happen to you. Come on, ministry team or cell leaders or anyone. Uh, ikaw ay Christian katabi mo, may katabi ka dyan just lay hands, pray for them pray for them uh, ipatong mo ang iyong kamay sa kanilang balikat, just pray for them thank you Jesus thank you that you are here thank you O God that you are alive thank you God that our faith is not in vain God Father we thank you thank you Lord that there is forgiveness there is uh, life eternal So habang tayo po'y nakapikit, sundan po ninyo ang prayer na to. Sundan ninyo ang panalangin na ito ng pagsisisi at pagtanggap kay Jesus. 
Ito po'y maikling prayer na galing sa inyong puso at ihahayag ninyo sa inyong bibig at may mangyayari sa inyo. The Holy Spirit will touch you. The Holy Spirit will live inside your heart kung yan ay totoo sa inyong puso. Sige po, repeat after me. Tulungan po natin lahat po tayo sabihin natin to. Diyos Ama sa langit, thank you for sending Jesus to us. Thank you Jesus for dying on the cross. Right now, I confess that I am a sinner. Forgive me from all of my sins. Forgive me that I did not love you that I than than I should than I should. And sa oras na ito, tinatanggap ko ang kapatawaran sa aking mga kasalanan. Binubuksan ko po ang aking puso. Tinatanggap kita, Jesus, bilang Diyos at tagapagligtas. Banal na Espiritu Santo, pumasok ka sa aking puso. Ikaw ay maging Diyos at tagapagligtas ng aking buhay. At mula sa araw na ito, nais kong sumunod sa inyo. Nais kong maging disciple mo. Nais ko nahanapin ang fulfillment, ang satisfaction in having a relationship with you. Thank you, God. Dahil ngayon, ako ay anak na ng Diyos. Ikaw ang aking ama. Salamat po sa pangalan ni Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Bless God lahat ng tumanggap sa iyo sa araw na ito, O oh God. I pray, Lord, na hindi sila manatili na, na, na like ngayon lang, God, kundi talaga ipagpapatuloy nila ang kanilang pakikipagrelasyon sa inyo. God, makikilala ka pa nila ng gusto. Sila po ay magbabasa ng iyong salita, kakain ng bread of life. God, makakasama namin sa mga gawain ito, God. At ikaw po ay patuloy na susubaybay, tutulong sa kanila, sa kanilang mga pangailangan. Maitas ka po sa kanilang mga buhay. And we pray, Lord, na sila po ay maalagaan ng mga cell leaders na lalagos sila sa inyo. Salamat po, O Diyos. Ito po ang aming dalangin sa pangalan ni